we began last time speaking about some of Sarshner's Talmidot and Lechavad, the, the author of the book that I've been working off of, Pearl Banish, who is a great woman in her own right. And if you really want to see a great Beis Yaakov Talmidah, you can see some videos of her, uh, beautiful videos of her speaking with such power and passion uh, post the Holocaust. She, of course, wrote this book and she wrote a book about Beis Yaakov girls during the Holocaust. But Lechvodas, I wanted uh, to share a personal account she had, which really shows so much what we're talking about. So she's in 1994, is in Haifa uh, for a family ce- celebration, and she walked through a park. And I went through a park, and I saw some girls who were clearly Beis Yaakov. I greeted them with a joyous Shabbat Shalom and a smile, as I had been taught. The girls were bewildered when I sang Shalom Aleichem to us. Who are you, ma'am? Do you know any of us? You say, Shalom Aleichem, you must be, you know us. I do. I'm a member of your family. I am a Beis Yaakov girl, too. Part of this great worldwide sisterhood called Beis Yaakov. Do you have a few minutes? Girls, I had the privilege to be a Talmidah, a great teacher. Her name was Sarish Nir. I and her other young students admire her greatly and we're always eager to learn from her. We learn from her and listen to this. We learn from her in the classroom where she revealed the treasures of Jewish thought. But we learn even more from her by observing her exemplary behavior and her extraordinary love for her people. Her willingness to listen and to try to help everyone in need was amazing. The most exceptional thing, however, was the way she greeted every human being. Her unique warmth and joy, her smiling face and her sparkling eyes gave everyone the same message. I noticed you. I care. You can imagine what a great and lasting impression it made on us young people. We always tried hard to emulate her ways. We still do. Years later, decades later, 1994, she was, she hadn't been with her for 50 years, for, for 55 years. Girls, did you ever stop to think what a tremendous impact the greeting makes on people? Tomorrow, tomorrow morning as you walk to shul through the park, observe the lonely woman sitting on the benches. Notice the blank expression on their faces. As you pass by, say a heartfelt Shabbat Shalom to one of them and ask, how do you feel? You'll see how her face lights up. Her, her fear that even God has forsaken her slowly vanishes. You will have restored a spark of faith in Hashem's goodness to this woman. Go over to another woman and do the same. She just picked this conversation with these girls on Haifa. Your warm greeting will restore her faith in people after she felt neglected and wanted by the world. Yes, she will think there are still people who care. Then go over to third woman, one who sits on the bench after having put her finest clothing. No matter how difficult it is, she wishes to look like a human being and to be treated as one. Your Shabbat Shalom and a compliment. You look great in that pretty outfit. Try it. It will make her feel good. She will return the smile with a hearty thank you. Your greeting will have restored her faith in herself and give her the courage to try even harder. That was Frosh Nira's way. She greeted people with such charm that the recipient was always strongly affected. She greeted every Jew in the street, whether he's from or not committed. Instead of screaming, Shabbos, Shabbos, her hearty, joyous, good Shabbos made an impression on those to whom it was addressed. Her greetings for strangers and Gentiles with a smile and a good wish each time were Kiddush Hashem. What a nice Jewish woman you are to notice me and to give me your blessing. Gentile woman would say happily, returning her greeting. I am proud of you girls. You have revived the principles of the Beis Yaakov movement. And the ideals. You hear an idealist to herself. You're talking to a bunch of girls you don't even know. Picking a conversation. Let's revive their forgotten art of greeting everyone with Saber Panim Yafas with a friendly face. Let's do it with genuine joy as our great teacher taught us. Thank you for listening. May you have a wonderful Shabbos and succeed in all you do. We're the ones who should thank you for making us aware of the great mitzvah. May you have a good Shabbos using Sarah Schneer's Yiddish pronunciation. May God help us do all you have taught us. As I moved on, each girl gave me a great and joyous parting smile. So I think we see about a lot about what Beis Yaakov was in that story, a lot about the continuation of Beis Yaakov, and again, the chvod of Pro Benish, who we've gotten so much from in this series. Uh, I share that beautiful story.